Hi, I'm Dean, and I'm here to talk to you about a new type of mosquito trap. I call it a dead-end, one-way mosquito trap. Over the summer, what I did was I had some larvae in the uh, turtle water, the kids' turtle water, and I took that water and I put it in the bottom of this container, and I made sure that the mosquitoes could escape to the top, so it was one way that it could go. Then I flipped it over, and then I put the larvae water in the bottom, and then I wanted to see, make sure that they could not escape through the trap the other direction. And once, uh, initially I was at about 30% effective, uh, tw uh, then up to 40, 50, but now I'm at 98% effective, the mosquitoes can't escape from the trap. Here's the trap, and the mosquito flies in from this side. She'll land here, and she'll walk up to the top of the trap, and then she'll fly in. And once she does that, she lands on the water, she lays her eggs, and then she wants to exit. So she'll fly up and she'll start landing on the sides of the screen and realize, you know, she goes, she's hitting a dead end. Then what she'll do is she'll fly into the back and she'll only see the lower portion here. She'll fly into the bottom part. She'll be walking around and there's nowhere to go. It's a dead end there. So then she'll come out, fly out, and then within a day or two, she'll exhaust herself and uh, die. Now this mosquito, the reason why these traps work is because OV traps have been used for 50 years by mosquito control districts. The uh, general OV trap, just like this, has a hole on both sides, and then you just pour water in it, and you let the mosquitoes lay eggs in there. But the mosquito that laid the eggs, the female, does escape, so if she has dengue or is about to have dengue, um, she did escape and she can bite another person and pass the disease. What my trap does is it makes an OV trap a one-way trap. So as it flies in, it goes in, but then it cannot figure out this maze on how to get back out. And this has worked. I, it, it worked in my uh, samples here and then I put it around my property. I put eight of them around my property and seven of them had mosquitoes. I have an outdoor uh, kitchen, and in my outdoor kitchen, I had about 200 larvae in here. Um, if I hadn't had these, those 200 larvae would be ar around uh, my property biting at me. And the reason why these work and why you want to put many of them around your house, these are not very expensive to manufacture. So these are very inexpensive traps, just a Coke bottle or any type of bottle, or I, I, I'll be selling a more formal unit for people that aren't crafty to make these. The, I show how to make these on my website, uh, www.mosquitoeswithoutborders.com. And this mosquito can, is known to be able to even find a cap, a soda cap full of water and lay eggs is how prolific it is. Um, so what we do is we give it multiple sites because it's also known for not laying all its eggs in one basket. So, so when it uh, goes out to lay eggs, it doesn't want to lay all its eggs in one location. So if we have six to 10 of these around your property and maybe one or two in your house, and let's say the, the mosquito had bit somebody that is visiting you that doesn't know they have dengue yet, they're a day from showing the symptoms, then what would happen is it takes seven to 11 days before the mosquito can actually uh, pass a disease on. So if you can catch it within two to four egg laying cycles, you basically eliminate the de disease in your area before the mosquito could even pass it on. So that's basically the theory on how it, it works. So it, it's been proven on my property, as I mentioned, seven out of eight bottles ended up with mosquitoes in a, a three month period. And this has the potential to wipe out the disease part not necessarily the mosquito, but it will reduce the number of mosquitoes in your area.